Um, I'm Shelby Hanna, and I am with Occupy Pocatello, Idaho. Um, I'm Cindy, and a part of Occupy Idaho Falls, Idaho, about 50 miles north of uh, Pocatello. We don't have an encampment, but from uh, for about uh, eight, seven weeks now or so, we've had weekly general assemblies as well as weekly rallies. Yeah. You impress upon people that this isn't a one-time yeah, I'm mad. Okay, now I'll go back to doing what I was doing. This is a an occupation. So that's kind of what we've been working on is outreach and education and talking to people about what this is, what it could be. Reductive kind of bumper sticker level. I would say I would like to see money de-emphasized. This idea of status and wealth and and stuff and look at my things that show how awesome I am, but human connections. Human connections emphasized, human relationships emphasized, people treating people like people. And, and uh, you know, dial up the humanity, dial down the, the money. Yeah, a return, I think, I would like to see um, this, this country and, and globally more of a, a more value placed on things like education and um, and equality and less on what she was saying, you know, my Marc Jacobs purse or my you know Mercedes Benz or whatever it is. I feel like we need to we need to value those things more than we are now. Um, because they're crucial for um, the betterment of society and for humanity and of the country. And a specific level is access to fresh, good, real. We like to see people all over the planet have access to real food and clean water. <laughs> <laughs> Occupation um, throughout the country, throughout the globe, I think they play a crucial role role, role in uh, in this idea of awakening, the awakening. I think they are crucial in saying, hey, you know, wake up, put, open your eyes, and look at what's going on around home, you. And I put your video game down. Yeah, and I think if we can do that, which we are doing that, and I think if we can start doing it at a larger scale then we're going to see the changes that we want to see. We're going to see people value education more. Our politicians value education more, value what, you know, the fundamental human rights that that we need. We're going to see them value. It used to really irritate me. People would just put pithy quotes on their Facebook statuses, you know, and for a long time I saw the, be the change you want to see in the world, and I'd read that and go, yeah, because you're really, you're really doing something. And Occupy started and I went, People are actually now trying to be the change they want. Like, and I'm they're not, not trying just updating to, their status. They're not just updating their status. They've gone from, oh, I, this is a great quote. I read it, and I think it sounds great too. I'm yeah. out in the streets. I am yeah. talking to people. I'm having this conversation. Right. And the awakening. I think at this point, it's still. I I still think there's too many people who are kind of in that. Yeah. I get what you're saying, and I agree there's problems, but I don't think this is the right way to go about it. I think it's, I think the next steps are more discussion, more dialogue. Um, I, I, I think that, I think that the step that we're in right now, which is, um, you know, the awakening, I guess you could say, I think that step is a really, really big one. <laughs> and so it's really hard to say what the next step is going to be because we're still making that huge stride of like, <laughs> wait guys, nice. you this know, we're in the middle. Okay. And I don't know I what our next move the is, you know. <laughs> so I couldn't tell you exactly what our next move is going to be, but I think that as people, more people start to wake up and start to realize, you know, oh shit, there's something going on. Yeah, I think language. Then I think that next step is going to come to us. I think language is still keep just a second. Um, yeah. You know, Margaret Atwood said, "War is what happens when language fails." And I'm like, just keep keep using your like, keep using your words, keep having these conversations.